Mariners surrendered five in the bottom of the fifth during a 12-4 spring training loss to the Mariners. They visit Cleveland tomorrow. Lost to the... Lost to the... Um, I wrote a spring training loss to the Mariners, so I don't know who they played. <laughs> <laughs> you know what today is? What's today? What's today? It's Monday. Right. It's March 4th. It's March 4th. It's the only day of the year that's a command. March 4th! March 4th! It was my dad's favorite joke that he liked to tell on March 4th. You know what March 4th is? And when Mackenzie was born on February 28th, she Mm -hmm. came just a few days early. Her due date was the 3rd, and my dad wanted to be the 4th. Right. (laughs) Just hold on for one minute more. Come on! You'll be born on the only day of the year! That's a command! Put a cork in there. March! (laughs) Clint Clark, now college basketball's top scorer. Yesterday, she's hung 35 points against Ohio State, leading her team to victory and surpassing previous record holder Pistol Pete Maravich, who scored 3,667 points while at LSU in 1967. Here's a word of advice. When you're out and about today, if you mention this fact to anyone and then they start going, well, Pete didn't have a three-point line. He only played three years back. (laughs) Just walk away. Just walk right away. Nobody's got no time for that kind of negativity. Just let her celebrate and just shut up. Somebody posted that on my, I posted yeah, on I Facebook. I know. And I, I was just it. like, and then someone who it's is only in the guys. radio community it's is just like, It's only guys well, that are doing it. She's a really good athlete, but in Pistol Pete's defense, <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, and it's like, oh, just shut up. Nobody wants to hear that. Shut up. Yeah! LeBron James became the first player in NBA history to score 40,000 career points. Well, in 1915. They didn't have the three point line. Duke's and they didn't have a, And they didn't have a shot clock, which is why Chamberlain was able to do the 100 and the points. The sneakers are made and of if, carbon fiber. They used to have lead sneakers back in 1948. <laughs> if you're going to compare eras. Shut up. You're so annoying. <laughs> this kind of stuff is why I will never, ever live with anybody ever again. Because nobody can just keep their mouth shut when they have to keep their mouth shut. And are you impressed that I didn't post anything on my thread to that dude who is no, an old No, somebody else did. Guy? I saw it. Somebody yeah, else did. Nobody even said, like, no. what's the point? And even if you preface it by saying, like, okay, well, she's an excellent athlete, but... And I don't even care about NCAA basketball. <laughs> take, NCAA basketball. Take a deep breath. But it's like... It's, I get it. I totally understand. Just shut up. I get it. Well, Pistol Pete... <laughs> <laughs> you know, in Pistol Pete's defense, Pistol Pete doesn't need your defense. In through the nose. Thank you. Out through the mouth. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Nearly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. Get some French fried potatoes. <laughs> Remember Sling Blade? Is that too old a reference? Mm-hmm. Oh, get some French fried potatoes. <laughs> the point of going to Target is that I'm not particularly shopping for anything. I'm just wandering. But if I end up with something, then, you know, that wouldn't be a surprise. I've never just walked out. What's the point of that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have his statement here. Oh, we have a statement. Hold the on. The statement says... <laughs> up too early on a Saturday morning, Rachel gets annoyed because she's downstairs enjoying her coffee watching Bravo. Oh, yeah. Get out of her face. And, oh, <laughs> That's her quiet time. Yes. yes. She yeah. doesn't need you being like, who's that? What's it? Is that his girlfriend? Are they? Do they live in a house together? This is stupid. They, has he ever dated that girl? How is that come his the, other friend? You know they're mic'd, right? Oh. I mean, everything's, I mean, look, it's lit properly. How are they, how is the person answering the door so shocked that the person just knocked on the door because the person who answered the door is mic'd oh, up? Oh, you're not doing that, yes, are you? Yes, I'm 100% that guy. Don't ruin Vanderpump Rules for her. She is. How do you know, how do you, how do you know I'm talking about Vanderpump Rules? I know what you're talking about. It's either Below Deck, Real Housewives, Jody, or Vanderpump Rules. That's Jody, what she's watching I'm gonna on exp- Bravo. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Earlier this week, today's Thursday, earlier this week, mm-hmm. I found myself in a self-loathing spot. Oh. Because I saw a headline that Jax and Brittany broke up and I knew who they were. (laughs) Also, I don't believe that, by the way. (laughs) They're just doing it for press before their new show. (laughs) It's International Women's Day. 
Global Day, celebrating the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women. If you think this is some new woke BS, and I'm not going to celebrate <laughs> women, just so you know, this has been occurring for well over a century. The first uh, International Women's Day gathering was in 1911, supported by over a million people. It's new woke BS. I'm not going to celebrate Women's Day. When's Men's Day? <laughs> If you live with someone who says that and, like, is serious, then you need to reconsider feeding them ever again because that's what they really want. They just want you to stop talking about this Women's Day stuff and just get breakfast on the table. Uh, This, by the way, on Facebook and Instagram at Jody and Bender will be the official International Women's Day video that will be posted. Should you live with somebody who says, why do I have to be nice to women today? To commemorate the day, this will be the clip. Right. Thanks a lot. Well done. Thanks, Obama. (laughs) Kevin and Bothell's got five wins. He's our returning champion for Puget Sound Showdown. Kevin! Good morning. Kevin! 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 Whoop, whoop! Kevin, you ready? I'm ready. I'm driving my three grandsons to school here. Oh, they're but all in I the car? Over I'm safe and we're ready to roll. Pardon? They're all in the car with you? Yes. Can we get like a cheering committee or something? They're banging. You can hear them banging on the door. Uh, yeah, they can cheer, but they can't hear the questions because I don't want the radio on because I know I've been on before. That's right. Yeah. You can hear them banging like, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> there we there go. There we go. Good. That's what I like. Sounds like he's in a car with sheep. That's all right. <laughs> That's what sounds- They're doing their best. Uh, if you're just now tuning into the show. Hi. Hi. That's Jody. And that's Benders. We learned earlier this morning that the creative team here at 95.7 of the Jet have uh, they've written some things that Jody and I are supposed to run during our show. Mm-hmm. We heard it for the first time this morning. This would be it. She's a culinary savant. And his hamburgers complain. Jody and Bender mornings. Um, Go ahead, tell them what I thought. I'm not gonna. Well, two things. Pretend like I didn't two, get it wrong. Two things. Uh-huh. One, it's wrong. Right. Because I don't get plain hamburgers. I get burgers with ketchup only. Mm-hmm. And when I'm feeling sussy, I get cheese. Mm-hmm. I get cheeseburgers, ketchup only. However. Earlier this morning, and this is why you have to listen to every second of the show because you don't want to miss gold. Like Jody thinking that that meant she's a culinary savant and that my burgers complain. complain. She's a culinary savant and his hamburgers complain. Jody and the- And his hamburgers complain. I was like, complain about what? The fact that they're about to be eaten, not moving in a field? You're like, what are you talking about? Is that like taking a swipe at how bad a chef you are? Like, what do your hamburgers complain about? What? I'm a culinary savant. That's true. That's about me. And your hamburgers complain. I don't get that. What are they complaining about? (laughs) That they're going to be eaten? Like, that's the life of a hamburger. Are you serious? The yeah. my, my burgers come plain. Oh, like there's no toppings on your burgers? <laughs> She's a culinary savant right? and his hamburgers complain. Jody and no. the- <laughs> I didn't, Don't even look at me like that. That's crazy. I, that makes I, more I, sense what I think. I it didn't says. write that. And his hamburgers complain. The burgers complain. Come. Plain. That is correct. It should have been Jody is a culinary, culinary savant, savant and he eats his burgers plain. How about Which is well, that would work too, but it'd still be wrong. It's a it's a plain hamburger with ketchup. It's a ketchup only hamburger. Right. How about she's a culinary savant and he eats whatever garbage he vant? <laughs> no? No. All right. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. <laughs> 